Canada is facing the threat of a 25% tariff on its goods from the upcoming new US administration. In response, Ontario Premier Doug Ford likened it to a family member stabbing you right in the heart. Feeling hurtful, Canada is already considering possible retaliatory tariffs on certain American items, the Associated Press reported. Decades of free trade have fostered a close economic relationship between Canada and the US. According to the Canadian media outlet CBC, changes in US trade policy could have a devastating impact on Canada's economy. More than three quarters of Canadian export goods go to the US, and almost half of Canada's import goods in turn come from its southern neighbor. Clearly, the US does not consider the extent to which Canada will suffer at all. Ford's comments highlight the risks of being a US ally. Canada is often seen as the US closest ally. Despite this loyalty and affinity, Canada finds itself backstabbed by the US from time to time. For instance, in 2018, the US, citing national security concerns, announced tariffs of 25% on imports of Canadian steel and 10% on aluminum. While the US and Canada call each other allies, it seems that this relationship has never been as close as it appears. The US often prioritizes its own interests over those of its allies, leading to repeated betrayals, with Canada not being the only victim. In 2021, the AUKUS deal reached by the US, UK, and Australia stripped France of a multi-billion dollar contract to provide conventional submarines for Australia, blasting the US-led deal as a stab in the back an outraged France recalled its ambassadors to both the US and Australia. The US perception of its allies stands in stark contrast to the claims made by some American politicians about its rock-solid commitment to partners. Regardless of how fervently the US professes its dedication to allies, its ultimate goals remain centered on America first, viewing allies merely as tools to achieve objectives. It treats its allies based on their exploitation value if they're useful, they're embraced. If not, they're betrayed or even discarded. After suffering from America's political kidnapping and economic vampirism, if US allies still fail to recognize the insincerity and ulterior motives of the US, they will eventually find themselves at a dead end. In addition to Canada's possible retaliatory measures, South Korea's presidential office on Wednesday expressed concerns about the potential impact of the US proposed tariffs on Korean businesses in Mexico and Canada, vowing to take proactive measures to address the risks. An increasing number of American allies are voicing dissatisfaction and concern regarding US tariff policies. If the US continues to belittle the interests of its allies, its selfishness will undoubtedly lead to alienation from them. Former US Secretary of State Henry Kissinger famously stated, It may be dangerous to be America's enemy, but to be America's friend is fatal. To US allies, they should particularly be careful, with allies like the US, who needs enemies.